it's absolutely such a pleasure to be here with Jose. To take a giant rewind button, you grew up in a little town known for coal mining. How did you get from there to El Bulli? My father will cook every Sunday. A big paella pan, everybody knows what a paella is. And he will put me in charge of the fire. But one day I wanted to cook. I wanted to put the spoon on the pot. And he told me, no, I need you to control the fire. It's, I need you to help me with that. I got upset, he sent me away. When the paella was finished, he got me on the side and told me, Jose, I understand you wanted to do the cooking, but before you do any cooking, in the kitchen or in life, you need to learn what your fire is, and you need to learn how to control it. Once you understand what your fire is and you know how to control it, you can do any cooking you want. Something that probably most of you don't know is that Jose got off an airplane today. He spent the last six days, I believe, in the, on the panhandle, serving meals to people affected by the hurricane as part of World Central Kitchen. How did you even begin to get this thing off the ground? So for me, I had a lot of experience, some experience, in, through organizations like DC Central Kitchen in DC, then LA Kitchen that we opened in Los Angeles. I always wanted to do something beyond the States. And when Haiti happens, it was like, here I go. I began cooking with a Spanish NGO that they were in charge of one of the refugee camps. And you know, uh, I began going back every, it seems every other month I was there. And it's how we created World Central Kitchen to try to bring as more solutions. Now, um, World Central Kitchen is all around the world um, in, in Indonesia and in Puerto Rico, in North Carolina. Um, I mean, uh, it's been an amazing year. In Guatemala. Indonesia today, we did um, 11,000 meals in Palu alone. And we were the first NGO arriving there. Sometimes in life, um, they will tell you no. And many of us, we go and we turn our backs and we leave. But we should not turn our backs if what we want to do, we believe is the right thing to do. So I will always tell you, knock on the door. And if they don't open the door, knock again harder. And if not, jump through the window. <laughs> but just keep going to what you really want to achieve. You didn't know necessarily what you were doing or where you're going to get bread when you arrive in a place. I, or... I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, but you know, you, you show up in a place and you just, by sheer force of will, start making phone calls. I wanted the power to activate everything around us to feed as many Puerto Ricans as we could. You know, the island was really destroyed. And we began cooking. And we began making sandwiches. And we began making sancocho. We went from 1,000 meals a day to almost 150,000 meals a day. We went from one kitchen to 26 kitchens. We went from 20 people the first day to 25,000 volunteers, a strong army. Yeah. And, and we got a lot of no's, but we kept going. The 3,000 people that died, maybe more, many deaths happened because we didn't respond. And in the 21st century, we cannot allow never again that any American, I don't care what the skin of color, and especially I don't care Republican or Democrat, we cannot allow never again, like Katrina that they say will never happen again, Katrina happen again. This time in Puerto Rico, more than 3.5 million American citizens that somehow they were forgotten. As a new citizen of this great nation, what does it mean to you to, to be a, a citizen in this era, of, in this po particular political era? I really do love what America stands for. We the people, I don't take it for granted, with the people is you have to work for it. It's not given to you, you have to earn it. As an immigrant, I've been re I receive a lot. As an immigrant, I wanna give back. Every single immigrant in America wants to give back. You become American by the way you behave, by the way you treat others, by the way you show respect to others, by the way you lend a hand to the person that is in need. That's America we all know. America that is respectful, that believe that we are not perfect, but we are trying to fight for a more perfect America. That's what I believe in.